my dear friends today we will study the poem elegy written in a country churchyard by thomas gray it is written in 1750s and published in 1751 it was inspired by gray's thoughts following the death of poet richard west in 1742 so before starting the poem we should know that uh, thomas gray he belongs to the transitional poet transitional poet means that come just after the uh, neo classical age and before the romantic age so they are between this age that's why these poets are called transition transitional poets so uh, there are some romantic aspects are there in the Uh, transitional poetry in this very uh, poem we also find uh, both uh, neo classical or augustan writing or the romantic writing both so uh, this was the uh, basic uh, information about the poem now we should uh, start the poem with some introduction Uh, in this poem poet finds solace in the lives of the obscure obscure rustic buried in the churchyard so he is talking about the obscure rustic buried obscure means those people are those uh, who are not famous but uh, they died before getting any fame so uh, here our poet uh, thomas gray he is very much uh, feeling concern about these type of people to approach uh, he is uh, thinking about these type of people who are genius but their geniusity is somewhere not get fame fame so uh, he says that to approach the death differently he uh, he gives a stoic response to death next he also feel some kind of fear of dying so both things are there that he gives stoic response to death and on the another side he gives fear of dying means fear of death so this is a kind of universal approach universal approach to life that uh, uh, we will come we will take birth and we will die one day so this is the basic idea of our life so here uh, our speaker that is thomas gray he is thinking the speaker of this poem he sees a country churchyard at sunset which impels him which bounds him to mediate to think on the nature of human mortality that what is the human life so uh, this is this very idea is inspired by this uh, a kind of scene that poet sees a country churchyard at the sunset and he thinks he started thinking about the nature of human mortality whether uh, somehow he feel that um, death is there and somehow he feels that uh, there is fear in dying so both idea is there in this poem later he invokes the classical idea the classical idea of moment Uh, moment to mori that remember that you must die it also remembers me me memento mori's idea that one day you must die uh, this is the basic concept of this universe that if you are uh, coming you will go you have to go so this is the idea the form of this poem is iambic pentameter iambic pentameter quatrains by thomas gray it is a kind of meditation on unused human potential uh, unused human potential the condition of country life and mortality potential means uh, human potential means some kind of skill must be there in any person or maybe he has some special qualities but his qualities are not get fame he did not get get any fame so uh, and uh, on the another side he says that 
लाइफ ऑफ कंट्री साइड इज वेरी सिंपल एंड इनोसेंट एंड द थर्ड आइडिया इज अबाउट मोर्टेलिटी लाइफ एंड डेथ सो दिस इज एलर्जिक पोएम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी शुड नो दैट वॉट इज एलर्जी एलर्जी इज यूजली रिटर्न टू प्रेस एंड एक्सप्रेस सोरोज फॉर सम वन इट इज अ काइंड ऑफ डेथ पोएट्री इट एक्सप्रेस इट लेमेंट्स it uh, it is a kind of sorrow for someone who is dead so uh, in elegy poet starts to write for someone who is very near and dear for the poet and he starts to write uh, for this uh, and he laments in this po- in his um, lines so this is called a, a very good example of elegy poem elegiac poem so next he, in this poem uh thomas gray he talks about the social class social class that determines who is remembered in social class only rich people who are usually commemorated with the poor are forgotten means only rich people get fame even after the marriage but uh even after the sorry even after the death but the poor people they don't have any space so uh, here thomas gray wants to describe the difference between uh, poor and the rich next gray uh, gray questions whether the poor really do lead in significant life whether it is so that poor don't have any uh, significant life their life is totally insignificant and that they are not even worthy for remembering so this is the question he is making a rhetorical question that whether poor are really leading in significant life or they are not just worthy to remember so this is the second idea in the third idea he says that nature is opposed to human kind's artificial social structures for uh, nature everyone is equal for nature human and kind is uh, equal no one is uh, good and bad so for human kind it is artificial structure for nature these kind of thing is totally artificial it seems to after renewal to decay and after that after uh, he sometime it get decay and after some time it gets uh, away from our vision so these kind of things is total materialistic and so this poem starts like this a few bell ringing bell in the evening it reminds people to put out their fires and go to the bed curfew is a single Uh, sorry curfew is a signal it is signal that uh, evening time is there and now you put out your fire and you should go to your bed it is parting day means now day is parting it is uh, evening time when dusky evening it is less visible because sunset is there beetle sound is there and uh, all the sheep and cows will uh, a bell around a neck goes to the houses sheep and cattle are going back to their houses this is a kind of evening scene when sunset time is happening so this is a beautiful description of nature given by thomas gray it is a kind of metaphor metaphor that compares the owl to the queen owl to the queen means owl also make noise at that time in the night when night starts there lies a yew tree a yew tree is there in the churchyard this yew tree shed in the churchyard and here lies the four fathers of the hamlet or the poor people up here thomas gray is um, thinking that maybe here lies the four fathers here lies the four fathers of the hamlet or the poor people um, hamlet is very famous uh, character and the poor people may be 
मे बी हेयर लाइज दी पुअर पीपल सो ही इज फीलिंग वंडर दैट हु इज लाइंग हेयर बिनीथ दी शेड ऑफ दी यू ट्री दैट इज प्लांटेड इन दी चर्च यार्ड इन द नेक्स्ट लाइन द ब्रिजी कॉल ऑफ इंसेंस द ब्रीद द ब्रीदिंग मॉन द स्वेलो स्वीटरिंग ऑफ द बार्ड्स द कॉक श्रिल क्लैरियन और द एकोइंग होन and no more dead for fathers will rise from here now he is saying that people who are dead and or or, or dead fathers will not rise from this type of noise of the birds like swell or twittering of the birds cock shrill and all this so no will rise from their place now because our forefathers are now dead so everyone is sleeping with sound sleep now no one will wake up because our forefathers and all are in sound sleep so uh, this is a poem that indicate that uh, um, death of a person is last thing it is the end it is ultimate thing in our life so it express the feeling of the poet that poet laments on death of his friend but after that it changes it convinces him that death is necessity necessity of our life when we come and when we come and we go it is surety of life it is uh, sure that if we are coming we will go also so what is the setting setting in the mid 1700s a decade before the industrial revolution began in england so the place in the cemetery of the church st giles it is said that the uh, church that is uh, thomas gray is talking about is cemetery of the church st giles it is an evening time and curfew toll by the bell of great st mary church so the church is st mary church the meter and rhyme scheme of the poem is four line stanzas each line is divided in iambic pentameter and having five pairs of syllable each uh, first syllable is unstressed and the second is stressed so this is the meter and rhyme scheme of this poem and the language of this poem is it deals with the uh, human mortality because it returns home of the farm laborers the bells and the funeral bell ringing together it represents the contrast the image of peaceful landscape so the language shows the very very uh, human kind of life that is uh, daily routine of the cattle and the human being so perfect example of romantic poetry we can say that it is calm and sorrowful image of countryside that is given by thomas gray so i think this will be very um, this will be very um, helpful for you after um, getting the introduction of this poem so uh, there are some images which will be very helpful it is the sign of country day the and ringing of a curfew bell and castle returning sorry uh, cattle returning home from pastures and sorrow of the owl who interprets the speaker solitude so these are the examples these are the images which are the very good example of romantic poetry so i think this much is very clear till now next uh, stanza uh, we will deal in our later video thank you students